Hey guys, Wunton finally buffed Cyclops. Although he was in a huge buff, he was still pretty decent because now he can spend his skills way more often than before. I decided to go for the full cooldown reduction build because that will enable Cyclops to constantly cast his skills without any delay, especially after the latest buff. But before we continue, I would like to give a quick shout out to Filmora Go. Filmora Go is a great editing app on your mobile devices. It's very simple to use that you can learn the whole thing in a very short time. You can see here how easy it is to use. It's very easy to trim the video, add music, effect, title and transition. Also, the app offers free music and effects. This app is excellent if you want to quickly edit your TikTok and YouTube videos. Short videos are becoming extremely popular on YouTube as well. The app is completely free, but if you want more advanced settings, then you can add a one-time or monthly payment to receive extra tools. The download link will be in the description below, and if you have any suggestions or comments about the app after using it, feel free to leave a comment here or in their app. Thanks for more ago for sponsoring this video. As you saw from the intro, our team composition is extremely weird. And then we got a Leslie who went Retribution in the very last second. It seemed like the game was over before it even started. But I thought that we still had a very slim chance at winning this if I could somehow get fed enough in the early game and Angela just ults me so I can snowball the enemies. At first, I didn't realize that Leslie changed her spell in the very last moment. But then I checked the spells, and that's when I noticed it. Absolutely fascinating. Now Leslie will gain a lot less experience from the minions in the first 5 minutes of the game because she purchased the jungle item. I could hear they were stealing my red, but I thought we could contest it because Ling is not really that strong in the early game. Well, it would have been different if Angela wasn't forced to go to the top lane because Leslie didn't go to her lane first. Anyway, this is the kind of start we enjoy the most. My teammates always made the game a lot more interesting smiley face. Leslie surely didn't disappoint in this game. She will go to the red instead of coming to help us with the turtle. Ally, 
It's not every day you see such a handsome like me. Never seen someone handsome with one eye? Well, even though I managed to get some kills here and there in the early game, I definitely wasn't feeling that confident about this game yet. You can see they still only got 4 jungle stacks, and you probably already know the reason why. The middle lane is free to farm. I'm extremely grateful to this Leslie for making this game so interesting. For some reason, Link thinks that Cyclops is a very squishy hero, but little does he know that Cyclops is probably one of the sturdiest mage in the game. With Farsa on the opposite side, there's no way we can push any further, so instead we should just do the turtle. Unfortunately, we lost the top lane for free. Remember, whenever the opposition has an Angela, just assume that it will never be a 1v1. Many of the enemies are still distracted in the middle lane, we should just continue pushing. Stealing Lin's buff is really important, because without it, he becomes a very mediocre hero. I disagree, Leslie is definitely no useless here. She is doing an excellent job at helping the opposite team. I think Ling really thought that Cyclops is a very squishy hero. Just gotta watch out for the Atlas, I could easily die if they change CC me.
this moment. I didn't feel like we need to wait for the Lord to end the game. We can just keep pushing and just try to pick them off one by one. I hope they continue monitoring Cyclops and keep buffing him accordingly. I think he just one buff away from becoming a great pick again. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks.